Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. And get in that car Leave a little note And we'll drive real far Let's get out We can leave this city Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Just like this, so the screen's on the lower side. If you push down here, it actually braces it nice and tight to the table. Um. Welcome back. We're back on the road. After an amazing summer spent overlanding the lower 48 states in our 4x4 Sprinter van, facing extreme van life in all temperatures, we returned to our homeland to explore during our favorite time of year, winter in Alaska, where the air is clean and the mountains call upon you to snuggle yourself into their comfort and call them home. And upon our return, we had a lot of catching up to do with friends, family, and ourselves. Finally, slowing down. And after two years of exploring the most remote locations a road and our feet can take us, our van heater gave out on us. And for us, our heater is our blood in the winter and without it, our explorations had come to an end. But then, Jim rebuilt and replaced our S-Bar heater in record winter temperatures in Alaska. 20 below on that particular day. And soon enough, we were back on the road exploring. We are Jim, Ember, and Cynthia. Thank you for being here with us as winter returns. And today, we use our gear to help someone out of a sticky situation. Jim whips up a bison instant pot inspiration, and we take you on an adventure into the backcountry of Alaska. This was going to be our first night in the van since the snow fell, the temperatures dropped, and our heater failed on us. We were eager to escape this rat race of a world and spend a few nights enjoying each other, laughing and telling stories. Just us, snuggled into a quiet spot at the bottom of the Chugiak Mountains. But instead, even though the temperatures were negative 10 below in Fahrenheit, Alaskans were still out playing.
After all of that excitement, we found ourselves a quiet spot to call home for the night and find all of the comforts of home on this beautiful winter evening, hoping Jim's mechanical skills would get us through the night. And tonight we're gonna do a bison soup. Let's get started. We're gonna saute some onions. I don't like cutting my own onions, so I'm just gonna pour them in there. Okay, are they translucent? We'll brown this up. Let it saute for a little bit. Once it's brown, then we're gonna add some seasoning, all right? All right, <laughs> when it's brown, <laughs> let's take care of it when it's brown. <laughs> we tossed in some. <laughs> My wife is amazing. <laughs> we tossed in some brown. <laughs> brown bison. Oh, no, pink. Pink bison. <laughs> we gotta make it brown. Ready? I'm so ready. We're gonna add in two tablespoons of chili powder. One tablespoon of cumin. A can of red kidney beans. We like spicy, so we're gonna go with a can of diced tomatoes with habaneros inside it. One teaspoon of Oregano. Two teaspoonfuls of garlic. Mix this up just a little bit. Over the top of all of this, we're gonna throw in three cups of chicken broth. We seal up our Instant Pot. Make sure our valve is closed. We hit cancel, pressure cook, and we wanna cook this for 15 minutes. And there we 
we go. After that, we'll do a quick release. Our 15 minute cook time is done. We're gonna do a quick release. Pop the door here for a second. Let the steam all go out. Our valve has dropped, which means I can now open up the lid safely. A little twist. There's nothing better than a bison soup to warm up our bones. We're gonna garnish our soup with a little bit of cheese, some tortilla chips, A little bit of cilantro on here. Let's see how this tastes. Mm. Mm. Pretty dang good. Let's eat. After a night of laughter and closeness that we hadn't felt in far too long, we woke up feeling well rested and now it was time to take Ember for her morning walk. And one of the best things was Jim's tortilla soup for lunch the next day, out here in the middle of nowhere with our Rome rig lithium power system and all the comforts of home. Christmas 
So, what did we learn today? That having a little faith in yourself goes a long way. We never felt we could take care of situations like this on our own, but with a little research, persistence, and perseverance, we came out with a heater that now works like new and will take us even further into the remote wilderness of Alaska. And we have big plans this winter, so be sure that you're subscribed. Say hello to us in the comments below. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to you and yours. And as always, stay happy, healthy, and safe. We'll see you again soon.